peace, love, life, solidarity upon your journey. I was saying for us to really evolve, excuse me, within life, we must do what? Have the knowledge, the knowing of who we are, actually know who we are, okay? And peace must be within us. Peace must be within your brother, brother and sister. You must have peace among your sister. We must put Africa first. Chinese put China first. The Italians put Italy first. We must put Africa first before religion. We must put Africa first before Islam. We must put Africa first before Christianity. We must put Africa first before Judaism. We must put Africa first before enemies. We must put Africa first before Buddhism. We must put Africa first before anything. Because not only that help us evolve as Africans that's living in America, but that help what the whole community and generations after us evolve within life. How we can have our own supermarkets is put Africa first. If you go to an Arab store right now, you'll see the father and the son working together within the store, actually uplifting the economics within that particular store or that whole block. Really, that whole particular store itself. So we must put Africa first, brothers and sisters. I must stress the fact that we all do this in order for us to really elevate within life. We cannot evolve as individuals, as singles. We got to evolve as a collective unit. We got to evolve as a collective, as a unit. And what is a unit? A black family. But, there's, but that cannot happen until we actually make sure that the sister have the, or the black woman have the knowledge of who she really are, or who she really is. There's no family without the black family. There is no family without the black family. There is no family without the black woman as being the backbone of the family. Most brothers, most men would say that the man is the, is the head of the household. Okay, brother. Okay, man. So who is the backbone of all of that? Who is in the midst of all of that? It is the black woman. I stress the importance of the black woman also because we cannot rise as men if we constantly kicking black women down. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how many degrees you got. I don't care what kind of reputation and what you have within the streets. You cannot evolve or rise as a man without the black woman on your side. I'm being real with you. She's the only one who's going to stick by your side. She's the only one. It took me a while for me to actually internalize and realize the importance of the black woman. That's why I, a sister asked me, you speak about the importance of the black woman. <laughs> Where did you gain the understanding from the black woman? And she followed up with that particular question with another question. And she asked me, how old are you? I thought that my answer was very <laughs> intelligent. I said that how I gained the importance of the black woman was not from a relationship in which I have encountered or which I have experienced. How I gained the importance of the black woman is for the fact that my mother, she did what? Took up two roles as the father and the mother due to the father's absence within my life. Now, I'm only 21 years of age. You know, it's not until I actually reach a level of maturity psychologically. And then I actually came to that conclusion with myself like, damn. It took a strong being to actually raise, to have the capability 
okay? To raise a boy, but couldn't took or couldn't take the boy to manhood or young manhood because she don't have the inner tools that's within her because she wasn't never created to have those tools within her because she's not a man, she's a woman at the end of the day. For that, I owe my life to her. You get what I'm saying? It took me a while for me to actually internalize and realize that that right there, the execution, the capability, and et cetera, that shaped my perspective different within life. It shaped my perspective different within life. So that's why I understand the condition in which our black women go through. They still are important. Matter of fact, they are important now more than ever. They are important now more than ever. The reason why I say that is for the simple fact is if you look at a sister or a black woman right now, you are looking at someone who's functioning without the nature of who she is or who she are. You are looking at a sister or a black woman with the knowledge of who she are or who she is had been stripped away from her. You are looking, that's why I say, if you're looking at a stripper, you are looking at someone who knowledge, who nature, who spirituality has been stripped away from her and now she's functioning underneath a level that's lower than her worth. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, we must really re-educate the importance of who the black woman is to us as black men or young men. I'm being completely honest with you, man. We must do that. We cannot elevate without her. What did Brother Kenneth said? Brother Kenneth said, the student representative underneath the Honorable Minister Louis de Farrakhan, he said that three-fourths of the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is about the black woman. She is our rib. She is our rib, brothers and sisters. Really, brothers. She is us. We are a reflection of us. Do you understand the powerful process, the painful process of having nine months of a life within you that's being manifested through those 36, 37 weeks within her stomach? Just think about this right now. And she can have the capability of actually producing or pushing out life within her own stomach, with, through her vagina area. You got to really think about that, brother. Anytime when you're calling a black woman a bitch, you are literally physically slapping her in the face saying that you are no good even though you produced it, me, into this physical realm, which is called planet Earth. We got to think about this as brothers. We must think about this, man. Because we are hurting ourselves for pushing something that's great within our lives away. We must think about this. We must. But on that note, brothers and sisters, I'll leave you with that. To give something that actually can marinate within your psychological brain. With peace, love, life, and solidarity upon your journey. Thank you for your time.